Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kair College of Engineering, Trichy. This is another lecture on the solution and discussion on the gate question paper in the subject Fluid Mechanics and Machines. And uh, this is lecture number 62 and the topic for this lecture is Boundary Layer Theory Part 1. So, we will take few questions from the gate question paper in the topic boundary layer theory and we find the answer and discuss the answer. The first question from 1987 question paper, a streamlined body is defined as a body about which the flow is laminar, the flow is along the streamline, the flow separation is suppressed and the drag force is zero. So, this is the streamlined body which is shown here. So, among the four options given here, the best answer is the flow separation is suppressed. So, the uh, along the streamlined body or the obo, obo, over and above the uh, streamlined body, the flow is streamlined. But the best answer is the flow separation is suppressed. The flow separation is suppressed in a streamlined body. The flow over a streamlined body may not be necessarily, necessarily be laminar. Also, drag will not be zero but minimized due to the streamlining. So, See, the the best answer among the four is the flow separation is suppressed, suppressed in the case of streamlined body. The next question from 1990 question paper, the predominant forces acting on an element of fluid in the boundary layer over a flat plate in a uniform parallel stream are viscous and the pressure force, viscous and the inertia force, viscous and the body force, inertia and the pressure force. So, this is the boundary layer in a over a flat plate there are many regions are given laminar boundary layer transition region and boundary layer, I mean the turbulent boundary layer region but within the boundary layer the forces which are predominant are the viscous force and the inertia force so reynolds number is uh, it is based on the viscous force and the inertia force of the uh, flow so the correct answer is viscous force and the inertia force option b the next question from 1994 question paper, the necessary and sufficient condition which bring about the separation of boundary layer is dp by dx is greater than 0. So, the answer is true. So, the boundary layer separation, uh, actually separation of boundary layer will happen only when dp by dx is greater than 0. The separation to occur, two conditions are to be satisfied. There should be adverse pressure gradient that is dp by dx is greater than 0. The mechanism such as friction to reduce the kinetic energy of the fluid stream should exist in the flow. These are all the conditions required for the flow separation. Next question again from 1994 question paper. As a transition from laminar to turbulent flow is induced in a cross flow passed over a circular cylinder, the value of drag coefficient drops. So the correct answer is false. The reason is turbulent border layer separates late because of its comparatively high momentum flux because of its comparatively high momentum flux near the wall. So, this causes decrease in the drag coefficient in the case of flow across or flow over a circular cylinder. The next question from 2002 question paper, the flow separation in a flow past a solid object is caused by a reduction in the pressure to vapor pressure negative pressure gradient, positive pressure gradient, the boundary layer thickness is reducing to zero. So, flow separation, the flow pass a solid object cost due to the, so this is the uh, flow separation. So, here you find the flow separation where dp by dx is pressure gradient is positive, dp by dx is greater than zero. So, when dp by dx is greater than zero, there will be flow separation from the uh, solid object. The next question, from 2002 question paper, if x is the distance measured from the leading edge of your flat plate, then the laminar boundary layer thickness varies as, so we have four options, a 1 by x, b x to the power 4 by 5, c x square and d x to the power 1 by 2 square root of x. The correct answer is x to the power 1 by 2 square root of x. The boundary layer depends on, it is varies with respect to square root of x. Next question paper from 2007 question, question paper, the gate question paper. Consider an incompressible laminar boundary layer flow 
laminar bound layer flow over a flat plate of length L aligned with direction of incoming uniform free stream. If F is the ratio of the drag force on the front half of the plate to the drag force on the rear half of the plate, then F equal to 0.5, F is less than 0.5, F is equal to 1, F is greater than 1. So, F is the ratio drag force in the first half of the plate, first 50% of the length of the plate to the rear half of the plate. The correct answer is F is greater than 1. So, the drag force on the front end will be greater than uh, the drag force on the rear side, rear side of the uh, flat plate. In the case of flat plate, the drag force is decreasing in the direction of the flow. That is the reason. The next question from 2014 question paper. Consider a laminar flow of water over a flat plate of length 1 meter if the boundary layer thickness at a distance of 0.25 meter from the leading edge of the plate is 8 millimeter. The boundary layer thickness at the distance of 0.75 meter is dash millimeter. So, what is given? At the, the actually laminar boundary layer flat length is 1 meter. If the boundary layer thickness is 0 point, at a distance of 0 0.25 is 8 millimeter, what is the boundary layer thickness at a distance of 0 0.75 meter uh, in the same flat plate? So, delta equal to square root of x. So, delta is equal to square root of x. So, delta 1 by delta 2 equal to square root of x1 by x2. So, substituting, we have delta 1 equal to 8 millimeter, x1 equal to 0 0.25 meter, x2 equal to 0 0.75 meter. So, 8 by delta 2 equal to 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.75 equal to 0 0.58. So, delta 2, uh, calculating delta 2, which is 8 divided by 0 0.58, which is 13.86 millimeter. So, the answer is 13.86 millimeter. So, we stop here. Uh, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering and uh, you can subscribe the journal, subscribe the YouTube channel and uh, listen to the video lectures of all the subjects for your better understanding. So, we will meet again in another video lecture uh, uh, with a solution for uh, boundary theory, few questions in the boundary theory. Until then, bye.